We're now watching The Wash daily. Today news, there's a report that cannabis companies are experiencing a high volume of applicants who are qualified for positions more than they've anticipated. People are leaving their jobs and they're looking to get into the cannabis industry. There's a bunch of reasons for it. First of all, cannabis has been deemed essential during the COVID-19 business that's been staying open. Not only that, because the dispensaries are selling more cannabis and staying open, they have opportunities available for folks who are looking for employment, especially because the methods in which the disbursement of cannabis by the dispensary has changed so much. They initially set up assuming people would be coming into their stores and, and functioning as life had been before March of 2020. But now, here in June of 2020, and the so-called new normal, things are much different, and curbside pickup is now a big part of it. The methods in which people are getting cannabis are now quite different than they were when they first started out. So the business models naturally are changing as well. They don't have the folks in the store like they anticipated. In fact, the stores don't even seem to matter as much. You could probably operate out of a closet at this point because curbside cannabis is quickly becoming the new norm. And you know, another big part of cannabis is gonna be delivery. And they're going to need cannabis delivery drivers. There's gonna be opportunities in cannabis delivery right around the corner. The way in which people are being hired by dispensaries has changed. The federal requirement for fingerprinting has been a tricky piece to navigate because of social distancing rules. There's a lot of physical contact that happens with fingerprinting. So that was really holding things up. It could only work with folks whose fingerprints had already been entered in the database, which makes it very difficult to get new people into the industry. Sooner or later, maybe everybody will work for cannabis companies. Hopefully they won't be owned by Monsanto. Also in news, the University of Colorado can't bring cannabis into the labs of the university to study. It's created cannavans, these cannabis mobile vans that go out and they look at different cannabis as being available in Colorado. One thing that's changed in cannabis is that now a lot of folks are into concentrates and dabbing and shatter and goop and live resin. All these cannabis derived products that have really high levels of THC. Maybe your typical cannabis plant might have a ballpark of 15% cannabis. These are 90% THC. What Cinnamon Bidwell over at University of Colorado says is that people who are smoking traditional cannabis and joints aren't really getting less high than folks who are dabbing. And there's an equalization that happens somehow. Smoking the cannabis leaf versus using a highly concentrated oil. It's a very interesting project and it's an interesting way in which they're going about it. They record a lot of data and interact with people on their experience using cannabis. Hopefully they're getting some really good results which will be used to help people find healing. The study looked at 121 cannabis users and determined that higher levels of potency does not necessarily mean higher levels of intoxication. It also found that any impairment that happens as a result of cannabis with memory or balance, it fades within about an hour. Researchers in Israel were looking at the effects of cannabis for f people suffering from fibromyalgia. They looked at about 200 participants. They saw a 50% reduction in symptoms by those users and they've determined that medical marijuana is absolutely an appropriate treatment for fibromyalgia. Folks using cannabis for treatment are also seeing a 50% decline in other medications and significant improvement in quality of life. People who have been suffering from fibromyalgia up until this point haven't really been able to find relief. It's a debilitating condition that really diminishes somebody's quality of life. It's exciting to see hope on the horizon from hemp-derived products. Thanks for watching The Watch Daily.